A major midtown Atlanta street is shut down right now after explosions sent manhole covers shooting into the air. Good afternoon and welcome to Channel 2 Action News at noon. I'm Carol Sparge. Whole building shape. And you can see the fire under those manholes and the smoke pouring from the grates. Now this happened just before 9 this morning on actually uh, a little bit earlier than that on Peachtree Street. And a viewer shot this video from a midtown high rise. You can see the thick, dark smoke pouring several stories high from the ground. And here's a live look at the scene on Peachtree Street at North Avenue. You can see crews there working to restore power to Emory University Hospital Midtown. Now, right now, a generator is powering the facility and all of the patients there are fine. But the issue is also impacting traffic. Ashley Frask will update us on road closures in just a moment from the traffic center. But our live team two coverage begins with Steve Gelbach on Peachtree Street in Midtown and Steve Cruz are still trying to figure out what happened. And all these lanes are still shut down. They have the tape here across Peachtree from Linden Avenue all the way down to Renaissance. And this right here, this is Midtown Emory Hospital. And right next to it, that is the sidewalk where underneath is that transformer that exploded and where the metal grates and manholes were popping. We do have some video from a neighbor right across the street showing these flashes underground. Atlanta Fire Rescue says no one was hurt, thankfully, from 10 large explosions. They say two to three manhole covers also blew along Peachtree. The cell phone video shows bills of brown smoke spilling out. By the time firefighters arrived, that fire had put itself out. The hospital did switch over to backup power, briefly lost power, but they never evacuated. They only moved patients away from that side of the building. That neighbor I talked to said he feared it would blow. He felt the whole building shake, saw the lights flicker, and thought he may need to get out. It almost looked like lightning underground because it was flickering, right? It would start, start and stop, start and stop. And then suddenly all this toxic looking smoke just came out and it continued. Then this went on for maybe about a good 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, Georgia Power still here on the scene investigating, assessing that damage. It's brought in this large crane as well. We can do some work here underneath the sidewalk, we're told. Now, there could have been water that caused this because it was raining pretty good at that time. Could have gotten down into that underground chamber where that transformer sat. Now, they do have all lanes shut down. We're told they could at some point this afternoon open up these northbound lanes. Southbound, though, likely going to stay closed. We'll let you know when and if that happens. And have another live report on Channel 2 Action News starting at 4 p.m. We're live in Midtown Atlanta. Steve Gelbach, Channel 2 Action News.